have the cable. And I shouldn't stand on it. You're right, guys. Hope you will. So, I'm going to be making some sauerkraut today. Because I want to, it's tasty, I got asked in the comments, and on top of all of that, I was talking to my friend who absolutely loves sauerkraut, but he's never had the real stuff. Never. So I'm going to be making some sauerkraut in the easiest way possible, with a little twist. Nothing huge, because, well, sauerkraut is usually just pickled cabbage, and that's cool. But uh, I'm going to be adding some garlic, because I like garlic and a tiny little onion just to give it that extra tasty little war. Now you can add whatever you want into sauerkraut. I mean, it's pretty much whatever goes, which is really cool. I mean, the only thing you really need to make sauerkraut is cabbage and salt. You don't need any water. We're not making a brine. The cabbage will make all the brine for us. So I am going to be using my lovely one gallon fermenter, it has been cleaned. It doesn't need to be sterilized as long as it's, well, clean, like you do your dishes. If you don't have one of these and you still want to make it, you can use jars. I mean, this is a pickled gherkin jar, woo, with chili, no less. If you don't have one of these, you've got like little honey jars or jam jars, whatever you want. I mean, it's that simple. So let's begin. So I have my chopping board because, well, we're going to be doing some cutting. I have a knife. I've even sharpened it because I'm cool and I get to wave it around and feel like a ninja. Yeah. So the cabbage I'm using is Savoy cabbage, though any cabbage will work. It will just taste slightly different. So uh, I'm going to cut up cabbage. The only thing you really sort of have to do, but you don't need to. Oh, that's a big cabbage. Is uh, cut out this bit here, the heart, and that's just because it's a bit chewy and we, I don't want to eat it, so uh, I'm going to cut it out. So the first batch of cabbage is done, it's been nice and it's relatively finely shred, shredded, that's the word I'm looking for, finely shredded. So usually you would put this in a mixing bowl and yeah, that's what you'd usually do because I'm using a brewing bucket, because I'd rather just do it all in one big batch, it all goes straight in the bucket. So uh, there we go, looking lovely. Now you can cut it any size you want, doesn't really matter. I just like sort of thin, wispy bits, because well, it just goes better on the side of your plate or on a hot dog. So I'm gonna carry on and uh, dice this one. So the cabbage is all in the bucket. We don't have to think about that for a minute. Now we've got the onion and the garlic, so uh, we need to chop these. Ah, cool. So just, just a couple of cloves of garlic, nothing too fancy. You can use as much as you like, add as much onion, chili, peppercorns. You can add them. They just tend to float to the top, which is a real pain anyway. So here's our bucket of cabbage. In goes the onion and garlic. My flavoring, looking good. Now comes the fun part. So we've got a big bucket of cabbage. It comes up to about here. Once we add the salt and give it a bit of time, it's gonna drop down in the brine and the water will seep out of the cabbage. But I used about 700 grams of cabbage because I'm cool. So it is about a tablespoon of salt slightly over. You can add pretty much as much salt as you want, but the more salt you add, the more salty it's going to taste. So yeah. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half-ish, because it's about the right amount. And I'm just using plain old cheap cooking salt. Use any type of cooking salt or salt that you want, as long as it doesn't contain iodine, because uh, iodine is a kind of sterilizing thing. I mean, it's good for you, but uh, we don't want to kill off those lovely, lovely bacteria that we need. So uh, I'm just gonna uh, measure this out, which could take a minute. So the salt's been added in. Uh, the measurement is a half a tablespoon measurement. So I added three in, because tablespoon and a half, about that. So for those people that don't know what 700 grams is, because they use Imperial, it is uh, 
just over a pound. 1.1 pounds, something like that. Anyway, so we've got the salt in, now we need to really mush this up. Now the texture, the more you break it up with your hands, because it is a hands-on thing, the more you break it up with your hands, the more liquid is gonna come out. So let's just get in there and do this. If you're not using the bucket, you're gonna be using a bowl and it's exactly the same process. There we go. So, oh yeah. Get your hands in and really work that salt into the cabbage. So I've just been working the cabbage for just a couple of minutes, like really bruising it and making it mixed with the salt. And uh, you'll see liquid start to come out. Oh yeah, it's a pretty quick process. So uh, there we go. We are looking pretty good. Now what we do, stick the lid on and we're gonna come back in about 30 minutes. 45 or an hour, it's really up to you, but I'll see in about 30 minutes. <laughs> it's not gonna fit. Bugger. Back to the drawing board. Right, my plate didn't fit. Normally it's a little bit higher up, but I did use a little bit of cabbage. So I'm going to have to jar it up because I want to make sure the brine is over the top because if it's not, then it can get moldy and I, I can't be bothered scraping it out. Why would I? If I don't have to, I'm not going to. So it's nearly a one and done method. If I had used like four or five cabbages, I could have used the plate and it would have all been done. So larger batches, probably uh, better for this. So, take my lovely clean hands and in goes my cabbage. Oh, looking pretty. Like so, I'm just, I'm gonna keep going. It seems to be working. Since I already cleaned my work top, let me just check it in. Yeah, why not? Now, let's just push it down and you can see all the juice flowing out of this cabbage. It was a really juicy cabbage. Really juicy. So, in that goes. Make sure it's nice and down. There we go. Now, not only that, I've got Oh yeah, looking really nice. Now there is little bits floating on the top. Now there is a really easy way to do this. Either stick a lid or something on the top or grab a little Ziploc bag or whatever type of bag you have. Like this, like this. So it is just, this is just a Ziploc bag. Uh, I've washed it out, but it does hold water. It's got holes in it, it's not what you want. So down and it goes looking pretty ah, there we go and now just add some water to it like so and that should keep the cabbage under the water line and it should it stop it from getting moldy yeah looks about right awesome so, not quite a one tub and done. Uh, I should have used more cabbage, but oh, oh well, never mind. So, we're gonna come back to this in about two weeks time. That's sort of the midway between authentic sauerkraut, which is pretty, pretty hardcore, and just ordinary cabbage. So I will see you in about two weeks time. There we go. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out some of the other ones and well, subscribe if you feel like it. Carry on brewing. See you later.